What's up, guys? So uh, I just want to say thank you for everyone that has subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, guys, as I do have a bunch of content that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so we'll go ahead and get on to this review real quick. And, you know, then we'll go into a bit of a demo. All right. So this is the uh, NAVAC 4CFM vacuum pump. All right, guys. And it has the 9 amp hour battery that goes with it which uh, it makes it run a pretty decent amount of time but just depending on uh the setup that i use with it um and it it does actually do a pretty quick vacuum for cfm i mean you're pretty much good with anything in terms of residential i have yet to have any issues with it i've gone anywhere from a a uh, two ton uh air handler install all the way up to a five ton and um you know even have used it on inch and eighth copper uh and the run has been probably about 50 to 80 feet in that range yeah so it does work really good on residential wise uh it is lightweight and you know no issues there this right here when there's no power anywhere and you don't feel like using a cheater cord this is definitely a good option so um it doesn't all it also doesn't take that much oil so it comes with a 10 ounce bottle of uh, of its own vacuum pump oil. And I literally filled it up and it still has a little bit in here. So honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't take that much oil. All right, guys. Also, it does come with a bag. So here's the bag that you do get with it. Inside, you'll get a, uh, a charger, okay? It comes with the oil. So if you don't want to just use the battery and you want to probably, you know, use it for a longer period of time, possibly, um, you can always buy the um, adapter for it, which um, it, uh, it costs, I think, about the same amount as a new battery. So... I was on the fence with it. I was like, do I want another battery or should I just go with the adapter? Uh, I ended up going with the adapter. Um, it is big, guys, but it also is pretty decent. Um, if you guys want to see this hooked up real quick, I'll put it on here. So you have that. And that plugs in like that. And then you have a little switch on here as well. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys, on that part of it. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys in closer. You guys can get a more better look at this. And pretty much that's all that goes into the bag. Um, do keep in mind, if you do buy this adapter, uh, the the charger is not going to fit in here anymore. It pretty, this will fit inside here and the vacuum pump with everything else, but you won't be able to put the charger in there anymore, uh, which, which is not a big deal. I typically have it in my van, the charger, and when I need to charge the battery, I just charge it up. Um, that's pretty much how I do that. But let me go ahead and bring you guys in closer. You guys All right. So if you see here, this is your power button right there. And then you also have your half inch, uh, I think this is a three eighths and then a quarter inch um, coupling connectors. So you can use your gauge manifold if you wanted to that way, or if you had the three eighths hoses or the half inch. And this right here is your check valve. You just close it, which you see here, this means that it's open all the way through and you close it off. <clears throat> and then there's your oil level okay this right here is where the oil comes out so you would take this out and then drain it your oil ends up going inside here guys uh, they do provide you with a little hook so if you need to lift it up for any reason if you're going to be working on the roof or something and uh, you need to use it um here's all the uh specifications for it uh, flow rate for CFM. This is the model number, the NP4DLM, 15 micron ultimate, 
lithium ion, cordless pump. Here's the gas ballast right there. So you just unscrew it a bit. That means it's on. And then we need to turn it off. That means it's off. So that's pretty much how that works. Pretty simple. The exhaust fumes from the pump actually come out from the handle. So it is actually pretty cool whenever you start it up. You'll see some of the uh, smoke coming out of there. Um, but that is pretty much it, guys. And then you get this monster battery, which is pretty cool. Um, so you only get one battery, though. Keep that in mind. I am planning to buy another battery just because I like to have the, uh, um, the ability to basically not have to worry about having the AC adapter with me sometimes and I just want to have two batteries basically you know the more tools you get the more you want here's the bag it's pretty cool you can pretty much put all your stuff all inside here which I guess I don't have that much stuff in here It does come with a little user manual. All right, guys. So now that you've seen it up and up close and uh, kind of got a bit of an idea of what it looks like, um, my personal opinion on it is it is a good pump. I actually do like it more than my other pump, which I have a JB6 CFM pump. And that one works good. Is I prefer this one. It's so light. It's really easy to carry around. Um, and then the battery. I typically, if I have, a, if I know I'm gonna do a startup or I'm gonna do a service, you know, where I need to open up the line stuff like that, I'll make sure the battery is charged, and I'll just, um, I have it hooked up in my van where I can just charge it easily. And on my way there, typically we'll let it charge for a good forty minutes or so, anywhere between thirty to forty minutes. And then kind of just go from there. But um, I have not had an issue of this thing dying on me while it's pulling a vacuum. Okay. So we'll go ahead and test it out and see how it does. Okay, guys. So let's go to the outside. All right, guys. So we'll go ahead and set this up here. All right. So let's see. So we'll set this one up over here. And then we'll set up this one over here. Alright. We're going to open up the half inch side. Okay, and then we'll set up the micron gauge. shut that one off we'll shut this one off all right let's turn this on we'll go ahead and connect all good that's all good so right here guys look at this battery we don't have any outlet here so we can't get any power all right so who cares right because we have a battery 
real easy turn it on this is shut off here go ahead and open that and you can open this and open up that gas ballast and we're gonna see it start to go down Look at this guys, things quick. So basically at one minute is when it started, so 13 seconds, you hear it's ramping up, so it's getting into full full speed. And it's a really simple setup guys. Got the uh, micron gauge on the opposite side of where we're pulling from, so this is the most accurate way. We're already in the finishing vacuum and that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah guys, this thing is a beast. So this is the half inch hose connection right here. This is the way to go guys. Just one connection. Look at that, we're already in the 500s. I mean honestly, like, that's just, that's crazy fast. Look at this guys. So don't forget, I turned the pump on when it was at one minute. We're at two minutes, 54 seconds, 55. So basically the pump has been running for two minutes. And we're already at our final vacuum. That's crazy. Always keep in mind, you know, you don't always have to have the biggest pump to pull a good vacuum. But so yeah, guys, I mean, look at that. That's, that's really good. I mean, it'll keep on going, I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off now because you guys get the idea. In six minutes, basically, we got under 300 microns. I mean, that's crazy. All right. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe, and um, have a great day, guys. Oh, and you can turn it off by hitting the button. Alright, that's pretty much it. Good to go. We valved it off over there, and we'll valve this off. And we're basically ready to open up the lines. Alright? Also, real quick, guys, if you guys want to see how it kind of goes back into the to the bag, so you put the uh, adapter here. Don't forget, this is extra, so it costs like 200 bucks. You put the battery to the side. If this was not here, this um, wall adapter, then you could put your battery charger here. Okay. Uh, basically, you just push that like that. This ends up having to, this has to be this way. Alright. Just drop it into there. Nice and neat. And then I throw my micron gauge here to the side of it. Okay. I'm going to be real with you guys. This is a tight fit. I feel like they probably should have made the bag a little bit bigger. But, oh well. 
Yeah, I feel like this bag was perfect for the 2CFM pump, but for this one, it definitely needs a bigger one. But it still fits. Alright, so that's it, guys. You know, so you can literally just walk around with that. Alright, take care, guys.